Well, Rob, it's been a, a, a great Super 6 season for Southern Knights. You finished uh, at the end of the season at the top of the table, made the playoff final as well. And now you're going. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, yeah, it was, a, it was a really good good season, as you said. I think uh, a lot of work and effort has been put into it. Um, and I think our support's grown uh, over the season, which is, which is really good. And I think that from a Southern Knights point of view, they're in a really good place to move forward now. Um, and I think that's really important. The squad looks like they're going to stay together, which is excellent um, and, and really quite exciting. So, yeah, there's a, there's a really good blueprint here for somebody to pick up and run with, uh, as you said. But yeah, yeah, look, and opportunities came around and, and I think that the timing's right for myself and, and, and for my, my development. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to, to what that brings. Less high profile, I suppose, this role. I love coaching. I enjoy working with players um, and, and try to get the best out of them. And ultimately, that's what that's what a coaching role is. Um, but yeah, no, it, it's quite exciting to be going in to work with the senior academy guys at Edinburgh Rugby, and uh, and and hopefully we can I can help them progress into the into where they want to get to. Not a bad legacy to leave behind, though. Yeah, no, it's been good fun. I've really enjoyed it. I've been really fortunate to work with some really good people. Um, Mike Dalgetty, he was originally my, my, my director at rugby and you know I can't thank Mike enough. Uh, the amount of work that he does behind the scenes is, is, is totally amazing so I can't thank him enough. Uh, Craig Chalmers was the first coach that I worked with at Melrose who gave me the initial kind of opportunity and then worked for many years with John DL and learned a lot from John um, and, and still keep in touch with him and he still helps me a lot just now. So. Yeah, no, I've been very fortunate and, and I suppose the supporters have been great, but ultimately the players have been amazing as well. Again, uh, we've, got, we've had a lot of good players that have came through the system now and you know they've, they've been brilliant and, and some have progressed, but some have stayed and, and been pretty successful in relation to winning stuff as well. So it's been a lot of fun, um, but again, as I said, I think it's probably the right time for me. What's been your highlights here? Uh, it's, a, it's a really good question. It's... Uh, Look, a lot of people probably think, oh, you just jump to the winning stuff. It's probably not that. Like, um, the when you see players progressing on, I, I really like to see that and enjoy that. And I, I like to see young players that have got aspirations to kick on and, and work hard, um, which we've got abundance of here. Um, but look, there's, there's been some great performances from, from teams that, that, that I've worked with. So I, I wouldn't like to pick out anything in particular. Um, but... Yeah, it's been good fun. You will be working uh, quite closely though with a lot of Southern Knights players. Yeah, yeah. There's uh, there's, there's a few guys who have progressed up through um, from Melrose originally, and then you've got some guys now who are up with Edinburgh Rugby that, that have been part of the Southern Knights as well. So I think the first one is probably Damien Hoyland. He he was a, you know I worked with Damien when he was 18 year old. He was on my rugby performance course at, at uh, Edinburgh College. Uh, so that's the first time I met Damien. Um, so he, he he's up at Edinburgh Rugby. He's, he became a, a really good rug, pro rugby player um, and, and been capped for Scotland as well. So yeah, Damien's up there, and and then you've got some younger guys like Harry Morris and Nathan Sweeney and Cam Scott and these guys as well. So no, it's, there's there's some familiar faces up there. So it'll be good fun. I was talking to Rocky Johnson just a, a couple of months ago, and uh, he was saying the pride that he felt with. You know, seeing Stuart Hogg and Rory Sutherland and Darcy Graham and, and many others moving forward and eventually getting international caps. And the same for you, I think, seeing these guys who you've known since they were wee boys, really, move on and, and upwards. Yeah, well, look, that's, that's our role as a coach, I think. It's, you know, to not, 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 just, um, not just the guys that want to progress in an international game, but, you know, especially in a club game, it's, it's, it's to facilitate all the players. Um, but yeah, you, you take a lot of pride when you see guys that have worked really hard and, and deserve their opportunity and pushed on. And, and you might have had a little input along the way, which is great fun. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's been good. Well, now it's not your concern, of course, but uh, a lot of Southern Knights fans will be wondering, well, who's going to be stepping into the head coach position? When does that process begin? Uh, I'm probably the wrong person to be asking, if I'm being honest, Stuart. <laughs> um, no, look, I'm pretty sure this will get announced. And then once this is done, it'll be... One door closes and another door opens. And no, look, I'm I'm really looking forward to seeing who comes in here now and and you know runs with it and and, and puts their own impotence on it and 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 see where they take it. it. For me, it's 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 the best Super Six club to be involved in. Uh, and, and what I mean by that is when you look at the facilities, you look at the area that we live in. There's some really really talented young rugby players, and hopefully some of these guys can see the opportunities that 
that the Southern Knights produces for them and, and, and they take the opportunity and, and run with it as well. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing where Southern Knights goes and the competition as a whole as well. You know, it's, it's, it's been tough for the first, you know, well, it's three seasons as such, although we've only played now 21 games, I think it is. Um, but you can already see how, how it's beginning to grow. And, uh, and from young guys that want to be part of it as well is, is really good. Well, we're, we're, you're certainly leaving the club in very good health and we wish you all the very best for the future. No, thanks. And thanks for all your support as well, Stuart, and everything you've done as well. Thanks very much.